Well, at this time next week, many of you will be packing your cars to hit the road for Thanksgiving. And as you join thousands of others out there on the roads, chances are at some point a driver in front of you, behind you, or right beside you will be distracted. And holding a cell phone may be more dangerous than holding a beer. Virginia's new law is aimed to protect you from people who are texting and driving. In fact, Tenor Your Side has led the charge to educate drivers about the dangers through the Wait to Text campaign. And now we are learning that new law may be flawed. Jason Marks has been busy speaking to police departments across Hampton Roads. And Jason, the common consensus seems to be frustration. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, you, you got to look at the law, and it's really difficult to, if you're an officer, to figure things out. I mean, what you can do is you can Facebook, but you can't send Facebook messages. You can look at your text messages. You can't send one. You can look at emails, and you can't send an email. Sounds confusing, right? Well, we found out you're not alone. You don't have to look hard to find someone texting behind the wheel. Our cameras captured this guy with a phone in his hand and a phone in his hand as he made gestures. Distracted driving is a problem and police know it. You can drive from here, you know, anywhere two minutes down the road and see a handful of people manipulating their cellular device. Everyone knows it creates dangers on the road. It is just as bad, if not worse, than driving while drunk. In Virginia, officers can pull you over for texting while driving. The law became a primary violation in July. But in Hampton Roads, our investigation revealed very few drivers have been ticketed. We're doing the best that we can with what we're given from the General Assembly. Virginia Beach leads the way with 77. Sounds like a lot, but the number is really deceiving. The beach has two traffic units who solely cover driving offenses. Keep in mind, it also is the largest city in the area. Is it fair to say that that's not enough tickets given out? Oh, there's no question that... that there needs to be more enforcement action taken, but with the way that we're, the law is written right now, we're doing the best that we can. Other cities aren't doing much better. Chesapeake wrote 16 texting tickets in four months. Hampton, six. Newport News, Suffolk, and Norfolk, all five apiece. And in Portsmouth, officers haven't written any texting violations. Oh, there's no directive for me to say we're going out and issuing tickets for texting while driving. Ten on your side sat down with Portsmouth Police Chief Ed Hargis and asked him why his department hasn't cited any drivers. Is it unfair to say that officers aren't doing their job? I think they are doing their job. Um, recently, we've been pushing our cars into the neighborhoods to deal with some burglary problems that we've had. So the enforcement out on the streets is not going to be there. Hargis says his department, along with others around the state, are all running into the same issue when it comes to the law and how it's written. It says drivers can't use a cell phone to send personal communication. They're usually text or email. But the law also says it's okay for a person to dial a number. Turn left onto Portsmouth Boulevard. Or use the phone for GPS. You can't tweet, but you can sit and read those who are. And because the code is so restrictive as that it has to be email or texting, people are still allowed to access their, their device to make phone calls and use it as a GPS. Um, so it's very difficult for us to determine what people are doing at, when they're driving down the road. This code section has more loopholes than the tax code, so it's very defensible. Virginia Beach attorney Tim Anderson finds himself defending more and more texting tickets, many times leaving the courtroom with a win. What drivers typically do is they give themselves up when they talk to the police officers. And those admissions are what are the only evidence that the trooper has to, or the police officer has to convict the driver. The police officer can ask to see your cell phone. That's easy evidence. But in Virginia, you have the right not to hand it over unless police get a search warrant. And officers admit it's not worth going to that extent. A court at some point in time is going to have to determine that the, the sight of somebody using their thumbs to do something into this phone, whether that's texting or actually using it to, to dial a phone number, is enough cause to pull that vehicle over. So is the law just vague or is it flawed? It's totally flawed. It was, if, it want, if they wanted teeth, they, would, they should have said you can't use your cell phone at all in the car. Several states have already gone hands-free while driving. That law just went into effect in Maryland October 1st. It would definitely remove the gray area from us if we're not allowed to use a, a device, you know, hands-free only. It would definitely make it easier to enforce. Only 114 texting tickets given out in the seven cities combined in only four months. Officers say if the law was cleaned up, there would no doubt be more. 
And in all fairness, everyone agrees that this law was a step in the right direction, but does it go far enough? Well, we wanted to find out from the people who voted for this law. We went right to our lawmakers and asked them what they plan to do to clean up some of the loopholes that we're seeing in the law. They believe many of them say it should be a hands-free system, and a couple of them plan to introduce a new bill coming up when the General Assembly convenes in just a couple months. That's the latest in Portsmouth. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.